get the free notes of electrical circuits check the link in the comment section and install the app for free also don't forget to subscribe to this channel mesh analysis question using mesh current analysis find the current through 2 ohm resistance here in this circuit we have to find the current through this 2 ohm resistance by using mesh analysis method so let's solve this circuit solution first of all let's assume this is mesh number 1 with current i1 and this is mesh number 2 with current i2 now according to the direction of this current i1 here this will be positive this will be negative here this will be positive here negative here positive here negative here positive negative now first of all let's apply kvl to mesh number 1 apply kvl to mesh number 1 let's say we are starting from this point so it will be plus 1 i1 so directly we can write i1 then minus 5 then plus 2 now here we can see this 2 ohm is common in both mesh 2 and mesh 1 so it will be 2 in bracket i1 minus i2 i1 minus i2 and here the loop is completed so it is equal to 0 we have started from this point so again from here to here the loop is completed here now let's simplify it so it will be i1 i1 then minus 5 then plus 2 i1 minus 2 i2 is equal to 0 now this will be i1 plus 2 i1 so it will be 3 i1 then minus 2 i2 it is equal to if we take this minus 5 on right side so it will be plus 5 let's say this is equation number 1 now similarly we will apply kvl to mesh number 2 so let's apply kvl to mesh number 2 let's say we are starting from this point so it will be plus 2 in bracket now here we can see this 2 ohm resistance is common in both mesh 2 and mesh 1 and currently we are solving for mesh number 2 so it will be i2 minus i1 i2 minus i1 then this will be minus 10 minus 10 then plus 1 i2 so we can directly write i2 is equal to 0 now let's simplify this so it will be 2 i2 minus 2 i1 minus 10 plus i2 is equal to 0 so here this will be minus 2 i1 then this will be 2 plus 2 plus 1 this will be plus 3 plus 3 i2 minus 10 is equal to 0 if we take this minus 10 on right side so this will be minus 2 i1 plus 3 i2 then is equal to 10 let's say this is equation number 2 now we got two equations equation number 1 and equation number 2 so solving equation 1 and 2 we get i1 is equal to and i2 is equal to so let's put the values in calculator 5 then 1 now here we can see it is 3 it is minus 2 it is 5 it is minus 2 
it is 3, it is 10. Now, here it is I1 is equal to 7, 7 ampere and I2 is equal to 8 ampere. Here we have to find the value of this current, the current through this 2 ohm. So, here we can write I 2 ohm is equal to here the direction of this current I 1 is downward. So, it will be downward and the direction of current I 2 is upward. So, it is upward. Now, here we can see. I2 is greater than I1 and the direction of this I2 and I1 it is up opposite. So, it will be I2 minus because the directions are opposite here it is downward and here it is upward. So, here this will be minus. So, I2 minus I1. The value of I2 is 8 ampere and the value of I1 is 7. So, this will be I2 ohm is equal to 1 ampere. Now, the direction of this I2, I2 ohm will be according to the direction of this current I2 because it is bigger. So, it will be upward. That means, the current will flow from B to A in this 2 ohm and the value of the current is 1 ampere. So, this is how we can find current by using mesh analysis. Do not forget to share to this video. Thanks for watching.